Hello everybody. Well, I never thought I'd be doing a breakdown of the All-Star game. Can somebody tell me what the record is for the most points? No one wants to play hard-nosed physical defense because you could hurt yourself, you could hurt someone else, it's an exhibition game. It's almost impossible to have something cool happen at the All-Star game. But Steph Curry seems to have pulled it off. This early shot, Steph going to the corner. Let's see how LeBron's premature celebration game is. Oh, not bad. This ball, I don't think it's reached the top of its flight pattern. And LeBron is already saying, all right, let's go back to the other end. We got this, boys. Step from the corner is automatic. And LeBron was correct. It was already halfway through the first quarter before Steph made a second three. Steph tends to defer in the All-Star game to whoever's hot. And usually there's someone on his team that really, really wants to be MVP, like Anthony Davis and Giannis. Russell Westbrook had a chip on his shoulder for um, like his whole life. So, you know, usually someone gets hot and Steph will just defer and just loves force feeding people. And so he's never really tried to get MVP. And at this point in the game, he's not trying. You can see it's not until halfway through the second quarter that Steph makes his third shot. But now LeBron with a long pass and Steph says, OK, I'm, I'm sufficiently far behind the line that this is becomes an interesting shot. So I'm going to do this. Whoosh. Next play down, LeBron chucks it to Steph. That's what passes for defense at the All-Star game. And so that says, all right, I'm feeling it. I'm still sufficiently far away from the three-point line to make this an interesting shot. Let's do this. Okay, next play down. LeBron leading the break. And good for you, LeBron. He's feeding the hot hand. Here's Steph Curry going down the line. Steph pulling up for the shot, and LeBron is going to do his own look away. I've seen this movie before. I know how it ends. All right, let's see. The exact moment he turns away, Steph has just released the ball. This is good, solid, premature celebration game. LeBron holding the follow through. Very solid, premature celebration game. Here's Steph in the corner, enjoying watching go in. He's got his one foot hop in, doing a little spin. But he's out of control. It's too much. The momentum is too hard, and he has to do a second full spin Otherwise, he might, uh, you know, fly out of control into the crowd. But Steph, a true champion, and he turns the double axle into a double axle rose. Or is this a slash? He's got the air guitar going here. Excellent job, Steph. But he's got Embiid isolated on him, so he's just going to step in, step back. Can't say that Embiid was exactly playing all-time hustle defense on Steph, but that is a hard shot, even if you're in an empty gym. Next play, Jokic drives in. The defense is really impressive in their extreme immobility. I don't think any of these four people move on this whole play. Chris Middleton coming across with, uh, by all-star standards, pretty strong hustle. Look, he's kind of closing out. He might have, nah, who am I trying to kid? Steph dribbles to the entire team, and then he realizes that he's now being picked up by his teammate, Andrew Wiggins, and you know players love nothing better than to score on their own teammates. So Steph says, fine, I'm going to dribble out here, and I'm going to do a quick turnaround right in Andrew's face. Here's something that resembles a play. Jokic dribbles up, and it's going to be dribble handoff to Steph. So Wiggins is trying to politely duck under the screen. Excuse me, sir. I'm from Canada. I don't like to be rude. And Steph turns the corner. This is such a basic shot from the top of the key. He can't stand to just do something really simple like that. So, of course, he goes for the running one-legged three-pointer. Good. Here we've got a kick out to Steph on the wing. Steph has Trey Young on an island here, but Steph steps back towards the low. He's already on the wing logo, but he stepped back to make this an even harder shot. <laughs> that was a definitely not following the laws of basketball, but we forgive because when you're stepping back from a 28 foot three to a, like a 33 foot three, we allow you to defy the laws of basketball. This would have been a fantastic play to have the dribble handoff to Steph at 
half court, that would have been definitely the play. LeBron with a nice pitch. Steph trying to pull up from literal half court. And his damn Trey Young, Steph had just shot the ball in his face last play. I guess he has a certain amount of pride, even for the All-Star game. So he flies at Steph at literal half court. <laughs> I mean, I, I respect. This has got to be a record for a pump fake flyby farthest from the basket. Steph playing the side step, and now he's uh, two feet closer. He's still on the logo. DeMar DeRozan knows what time it is. Premature celebration. Yeah. And for special sauce, Steph, not only from the logo, but even before the ball reaches the apex, doing his patented turn away. And he's looking over at Trey saying, Hey, can you tell me if my shot went in? Because it felt pretty good coming out of my hand. Okay, trying the same, uh, is it too much to call it a play? So another dribble handoff. DeMar DeRozan this time has it on the side. Steph comes around. Okay, what is up with this? Joel Embiid coming out on his friend Steph. Challenging Steph on the logo again. Are we serious? So, <laughs> Joel Embiid runs Steph off the, uh, let's call it the four-point line. But there's still a three-point line here. But then we've got a rotation. Is that Fred Van Vliet? Steph is now being double teamed. They almost trapped him over here on the wing, uh, eight feet away from the three-point line. So close. All right, so Steph got run off the four-point line, but luckily there's a three-point line here. Boink. The crew, I think that's Dorian Wade and Allen Iverson and Reggie Miller. They are loving this performance. We're still halfway through the third. Steph has just started firing with no conscience. I like this. Isn't this cute? Here's Jokic. Jokic, possibly the best basketball player on the planet right now. Totally out of place in the All-Star game. None of his skills, his smarts, his passing, his game sense, posting up. None of this is appropriate for this kind of exhibition. And look, he's telling Steph, look, LeBron is open over here. Anyway, Jokic is signaling for Steph to pass it, which is clearly the wrong move, right? I mean... The game is pointless, Steph is doing the, almost the only interesting thing to happen in the All-Star game in the last five years. And Steph says, sorry big man, I'm just gonna have to override that. And <laughs> Look, I'm single covered over here, I gotta take advantage of this, I'm gonna do the side step. I'm gonna step in closer, I was shooting from the thousands place before, I'm gonna shoot from the hundreds place now. Okay, so at this point I think Steph has broken the All-Star game record for threes, which is nine. This is truly, uh, even for the All-Star game, truly apathetic levels of defense. I don't think any of these four players can be said to be legally guarding anybody. Like this is, oh, this and this fellow, he's not even remotely close to a player. I mean, <laughs> and these guys are really getting into the spirit of the All-Star game. Like this, this might be a record for most players on a team not guarding anybody. But anyway, Giannis knows who needs force feeding. And Steph is just hanging out in the corner, almost hiding. But Giannis says, nah, I'm going to do a no look. Steph, not only is he going to do the look away, but he's going to start talking to the fans while the ball is still going into the basket. It looks like he's saying, uh, excuse me, I need someone neutral to decide whether the ball went into the basket because uh, I'm a biased source. Of course, I think the ball's going in, but I need someone with some scientific neutrality. And the fans say... Yes. And Steph's like, what? Oh, just so that basket went in here in this building right now? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks for doing your part for science. I think he's talking to these kids. The youth have, you know, a fresh perspective on things. Oh, I don't know. The game was exciting for about two minutes at the end there, but I'm not a fan of the All-Star game. Nonetheless, it was fun to see Steph putting on a show and throwing in some threes that even if there's no defense, those would be damn hard for anyone to do in an open gym. So this is Steph's first really good all-star game and let's hope that this kicks off the second part of the season and gets him out of that slump.